Very warm welcome to the post-match presentation of match 16 of the GT20 season four, powered by the city of Brampton. Cracking contest between the Brampton Wolves and the Surrey Jaguars. Congratulations to Davy Warner and his side triumphing by six wickets. I'd like to introduce my presentation party. Along to my left, Tracy Manette from Councillor General of wonderful Trinidad and Tobago. What a great part of the world that is. Thank you very much for joining us, Tracy. And Rod Power, Councillor City of Brampton. A very good man to know when you're in this part of the world. Thank you very much for your support. First of all, I'd like to invite our Player of the Match award. It's Bo Webster for his 3 for 16 and a useful 18 from 14 balls. He's having a cracking tournament, is Bo. Bo, just come in for a quick picture there with the councillor. Thank you very much. Marvellous. Excellent. Bo, um, I'm on my tippy toes here, my friend. You've, you've hardly put a foot wrong in the tournament. But first of all, what about your footwear you're wearing on your feet? Mate, they, these are nothing compared to what you've got on yours. If you can get a shot of them as well. It looks like he's about to go to the bowling alley. Bowling alley and a bit of lawn bolts. Great, great campaign so far. Are you a bowling all-rounder or a batting all-rounder? Because every game you're contributing both ways. Uh, yeah, no, definitely batting all around. My dusty meadows are getting a couple of wickets over here on a, on a tricky pit. So, um, no, just happy to contribute where I can, and um, whether it be with bat one day or ball the next. Now, what works for you? Because you've obviously got the height, but uh, how difficult is it not to go too short? Yeah, the, I think it's just about finding that length. It's uh, getting through the top of the stumps or, or just above it. It seems to be the most difficult with the, uh, the up and down nature of the wicket. Um, and, yeah, I've just been lucky enough to get a few uh, up in the air and the boys hanging on to them and um, taking a few wickets. We're very fortunate to be in the same hotel as all the teams, so we see the interaction on a daily basis. It looks a great uh, bunch of players that you've got alongside you. Yeah, absolutely. We're trying to enjoy our time while we're here and, um, you know, getting out and about where we can, playing some golf or, or having a beer where we are to get to know each other is one of the great things you can do at these tournaments. So um, we're definitely making the most of it and, and having a few wins always helps. Well done. Keep up the good work. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Very good from Bo Webster, player of the match for his 3 for 16 today. OK, next I would like to invite Rod Power to present our fans of the match. It's Diraj and Soha Khan. If you'll just come in beside Rod Power there, thank you very much for your support as always. Great to see the spectators coming through the turnstiles in their droves. Next up, I'd like to invite Marcus Stoinis, who is the losing captain for a quick chat. Uh, Stoin, a difficult kind of afternoon because you were in the contest for large parts. Yeah, we were. I don't think the scoreboard reflects like, how close that game actually was. I think we held on well with the bat. It was, it was tough and we could have easily had a few wickets there. They obviously had a good partnership um, to take the game away from us. But even then, it just felt like we were always not too far away. That rain seemed to play a little bit of a part in maybe the plans and uh, preparation. Narayan maybe holding him back a little bit, then the ball not turning a great deal. Did it go against you, the rain, in the end? Uh, look, maybe. Um, it's always hard to tell, but yeah. Um, it didn't rain for long, it didn't rain too much. Um, yeah, I think that it's more just a few, few edges over the keeper, a few that could have gone to hand here and there. Um, it's always a game of inches. So a glass half full kind of guy. You've got back-to-back -back games, so you're still in with a chance. Absolutely. We just had a quick chat. In 36 hours, we could be in the finals. So we've got two games in the next little bit. Um, win those two and we'll be flying through. Is that your general captaincy philosophy? Just quick chat, put it to bed and go again? Um, look, typically, I wouldn't probably talk straight after a game. But when we've got three games in three days, and, um, and I actually think we did quite a bit of stuff right. It's just, um, so yeah, a quick recap and then look forward to the next case. All the best for the next game. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Well, a very, very happy, a very happy chappy indeed, David Warner. Your team is playing some outstanding cricket. Yeah, they are. Um, you know, I think the credit goes to the bowlers, and uh, you know, it's handy winning the toss as well. But you sort of be clinical in the first six. And Tommy Draco, I think he's just th three times in a row his first ball. He's got a wicket. So um, if I keep throwing to him, hopefully he can keep going. Yeah, and with the bouncer as well. Is that a, a ploy? Because up top we thought maybe sometimes quick bowlers like to bowl a bouncer to get their body loose, but it's a plan? Uh, it's not really a plan, but, um, you know, he always says, you know, I might have a loosener to just protect that sort of area, and it's just happened, yeah. Um, but, look, he's been outstanding for us, and hopefully that can continue. You mentioned your bowlers. What about your batters? Because that is a great run chase in tricky conditions. Yeah, most definitely. And I think we spoke about it earlier in the tournament where Munns is batting in the middle order, used to batting up the top. But it was something we spoke about having, you know, that experience in the middle and, and the power as well to, to take it deep. But the way that they executed today, him and Hobbo, was outstanding. 
you mentioned the word experience. You mentioned it in your interview yesterday, how it got you through your innings, but the experience to pass on to some of the players who aren't as experienced at this level is key. Yeah, it is most definitely, and it's all about learnings. And, you know, even though we won the game today, there's a, a little bit to learn with awareness and that in the field. Uh, I thought we weren't um, up to standards there, but um, look, it is about learnings, and that's what, you know, we're here for, not just to play the game of cricket, but to, to help um, with the experiences and learnings. Dougie Brown looks happy. He sure does. We're happy tonight, I reckon. <laughs> Good man. All the best to you tomorrow. Cheers, pal.